So uh, the article I thought I'd show off uh, has a little bit of backstory behind it as well. Um, I was reading about a chef in the New Yorker uh, who had a really interesting story. He was a Chinese uh, American chef who opened up a restaurant in uh, somewhere in the southern United States. I believe it started off in Virginia. Um, uh, his, his name was Peter Chang. He uh, he was it was a world famous chef who had won awards in China and fled the country for some reason and came to the United States and opened a restaurant. Um, and he had just a captivating story in the New Yorker uh, about his progress here. And he opened up a restaurant. He got a, a, a big review and a bunch of attention on the internet. And mysteriously, his restaurant shut down. Um, so people tracked him down to the new, next restaurant he opened up and decided to, uh, and, and I'll pull up the article real quick. Yeah, so people tracked him down to his next restaurant and reviewed it again. And the moment he got any publicity, his restaurant shut down again. Yeah, I'll just load this up on my end so you don't have to worry. Yeah, sure. So uh, he sort of he sort of got an internet cult following behind him, um, where people would would track down his his latest restaurant and then review it, and people would kind of follow him around the U.S. to where his, uh, his latest restaurant had opened up. So I, I after reading this, this story in the New Yorker, um, I was just really interested in him, and I decided to you know read up on him and see where he currently was, you know, since he's sort of an internet uh, celebrity who continuously moves around. Um, but when I Wikipedia'd him, I was surprised to see that he didn't actually have a Wikipedia article. So I went around and I found as many sources as I could, the reviews the New Yorker had mentioned, the New Yorker article itself, and a few others, and put together this little Wikipedia article. Um, the Wikipedia article itself hasn't gotten much attention uh, since then, but other people have come in and sort of added updates to his article on, I, I think I wrote the article in 2010, but in 2011, he opened up a new restaurant. He moved again, so someone updated the article. And then in 2012, he opened up a new article, a new restaurant, so someone updated the article again. Uh, so I was excited to see this story that I originally saw as sort of a, a passive thing that I read about in a magazine, and I was able to bring to Wikipedia and all of a sudden sort of be a participant in the story itself, right? Like people are following him around and reviewing him based off of his internet fame, and his internet fame partially comes from his Wikipedia article. Uh, I notice a lot of the edits are from anonymous contributors, but uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's overall, I think, just an interesting story. And uh, one, of the, one of my favorite things is when I went to go Google him afterwards, the Wikipedia article showed up higher in the Google results than the original New Yorker article, which I, I also felt a little uh, flattering, right? Like, I am not a great writer. I don't think I could ever write for The New Yorker. But I do care enough to take time on, you know, a Saturday afternoon to write an encyclopedia article about something. And that ends up being more accessible to people through Google than uh, this something that has a lot more prestige or a lot more attention to people. And I think that that sort of accessibility of Wikipedia is what what excites me, right? Like, I don't have to be a, uh, I don't have to be a world-renowned writer in order to write something that other people read. All I have to do is, you know, care enough about a topic or spend an afternoon in order to, to make it accessible. So I, I encourage people to try and find articles that they are interested in that are not necessarily part of the mainstream uh, Wikipedia topics, right? Like, if you go in and enter the global warming Wikipedia page and want to make an edit there, you're likely to have a lot of trouble finding a way that you can contribute something new on global warming. It's a topic that's very well researched and edited and a lot of people pay attention to it. But if you find something that is relatively obscure but something that matters a lot to you, other people will care a lot about it and will come and start to edit that article with you, and I think it's a it's an overall more rewarding experience. So I think that that's just the article I wanted to share. If anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer.